everyone welcome to our channel biology for all in this video i will be showing you how to annotate the diagram of a nephron this is topic 11.3 skill 2 so let's begin by just drawing the diagram very quickly so here we are drawing the loop and then the tubules and then the connections for that so this is a very quick representation of the nephron uh, that is not very detailed but it helps you to understand the parts so first let's label this the blood vessel that brings the blood to the nephron is called as the efferent arteriole the efferent arteriole then forms a network of capillaries in the inside the capsule that is called as a glomerulus and then the blood vessel that comes out from there is called as the efferent arteriole this vessel is lesser in diameter as compared to the efferent arteriole the next one here that is a cup shaped structure is the bowman's capsule so that cup shaped structure has the glomerulus inside it and this entire structure is called as the malphigian corpuscle now this bowman's capsule then forms a convoluted tubule a thick convoluted tubule which is called as a proximal convoluted tubule now this proximal convoluted tubule forms a loop and then comes up to form another convoluted part that is called as the distal convoluted tubule this distal convoluted tubule then <laughs> opens into another tubule which is called as the collecting duct the collecting duct receives the distal convoluted tubules of different nephrons and opens into the pelvis here like i said there is a loop the loop of henle now it has a thick and thin limb which is not shown here in the diagram now once we have completed this let's start annotating the diagram so we begin with the annotations so the first one here the efferent arteriole is the one which carries the unfiltered blood to the nephron so this uh then forms goes into the glomerulus and the glomerulus then delivers it into the bowman's capsule so it's in this region that in the bowman's capsule region that the ultra filtration happens so all the liquid part of the blood moves into the bowman's capsule that is the cavity of the bowman's capsule and when this part moves to the proximal convoluted tubule there selective reabsorption happens so whatever material is required is taken back by the blood then as the filtrate moves down to the loop of henle the water balance is maintained there so osmoregulation happens there then it again moves up the filtrate moves up to the distal convoluted tubule where there is some amount of secretion of toxins that happens into the urine and finally the urine that is now formed is then delivered to the pelvis through the collecting ducts 